Hey, hey, how you doing? My name is Ryan, and today I'm adding a one-of-a-kind collector's piece to the Lego room. So a few months back, I saw a listing on Facebook Marketplace for 3D printed minifigure display bases. The listing had the Unikitty series, which was a cloud shape uh, base, as well as the Disney series, which had a castle or the Mickey Mouse ears as the base shape. I was really impressed by the color, the quality, and the design of these bases. And I asked the seller if she'd be willing to make a custom piece for my collectible and historic minifigures. She agreed, but funny story, she actually recognized me from my channel and the Flintstones autograph event that happened a while back, so small world. We met up at a coffee shop to spitball ideas of what this base would look like, and eventually we agreed upon the Lego Denmark house. This design screamed Lego to us without being so generic as to be a minifigure cutout or a two by four brick. The house looked like it's made out of giant bricks, so she had to model each piece individually and then come up with a peg system to stack them all together. She also had to make the measurements in between real studs to make sure that her model, her 3D model is accurate. So when she prints it, minifigures actually fit onto the base. Once the model was done, she looked it over several times to make sure it was accurate, and then came the printing process. She did about three passes of printing to make sure that the texture and quality was correct. Once the printing was done, wet sanding, priming, and gluing. And then a 3D base was complete. Well, almost. It still had to be painted because this, this Denmark house has several colors of red, green, yellow, blues, pinks, teals, and a base coat of white. Thankfully, Joanne Fabrics had a deal of 10 acrylic paints for $5, so I got all the colors I needed for a fiver. Let's get painting. So while the base coat of white dries, I do have a second project to work on. I'm slowly running out of shelf space here in the room, with the modulars slowly encroaching on the Hogwarts castle and the Harry Potter series still continuing to expand. I feel like I'm not using my space as best I can in here, so I found some spare pieces of white wood and I'm going to put up some shelves. My idea is to move some of my picture frame minifigure boards that way and dedicate this area behind me to just shelves. That way I can move some of my bigger sets up off of the top of the, the cabinets here and save this area solely for modulars and the Lego City. I also have a little tiny level to make sure that everything remains flat. <laughs> Alrighty, I got one shelf up on the wall, feels pretty sturdy, and I think I gave myself just enough room. Yes. To do a corner shelf. Alright, the base coat of white is dry on our 3D printed base. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let's add the fun colors.
So after making quite a mess, I used five different paper plates as palettes to mix various colors together, but it all paid off. I have the first coat of color on my Lego 3D printed base. I do, however, need to do one more coat of white uh, on the edges and just some cleanup around here because I did make a bit of a mess on the actual model itself. But I need to wait for this to dry first before I do that. So popping back into here, as you can see, I moved my minifigure boards over to the right, closer to the marble side. So I have room for one more shelf behind me. Enter the freaking wood. Guess we're doing this one by hand, all right. That's not going anywhere. Wow, I am sweating way more than I should be, but I have three shelves behind me. I think they look really good. I think the white looks quite nice. I uh, can't wait to put the Hogwarts castle up on it, but I need a break for right now. Let's go check back in on the 3D printed base. Whew, feels good to sit again. Well, this looks very dry, which means it's time to take some white acrylic paint and touch up the edges as well as the top ridges. I know it may not seem like a whole lot, but painting the trim white gives this a really crisp, clean look, and I am in love with it. I'm so happy with how this is turning out. But I do need to wait for this to dry again. So back to the other room. Whew, we are bouncing around quite a bit today, but now it's time to start cleaning up this area. I have some spackles, some white shoe polish, and a little duster that I can use to get all the sawdust off my modulars and clean up the wall and the shelves. I am loving the way this looks now. We have a lot more space over here for at least three or four more modulars, which is great because I am very quickly running out of room over on that side. I'm also a big fan of how the Harry Potter castle looks. I'm, I'm really happy. It, it has now the size and scale to it that I think Lego intended, and they're still making more Harry Potter sets, which is great. I also have my little uh, museum collection over here, which Again, more room to expand. That's the goal here. And I have one big spot right here to prop up the new 3D base. Hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not really a fan of how that looks there. You can't really see the top of it that much. So maybe I move this YouTube plaque, put the shelf here, and move the plaque somewhere else. Let's do that. This has been a long but very rewarding day. I'm so happy with how this piece turned out. Kristen, the person who designed it and, and 3D printed it, I can't thank her enough. She did a fantastic job making this a beautiful art piece. It's so beautiful that I might need to actually hold off putting figures onto it because the moment I put a minifigure on this, I might chip off some of the acrylic paint. So what I'm probably gonna do is buy a bunch of little clear one by one studs and glue them down onto various uh, various levels of the uh, the Denmark house. That way they're permanent mounting points. And I can always pop a figure on and off of it without ruining this lovely paint or this lovely piece in general. I know it's kind of a little bit of a bummer that I'm not putting minifigures on this piece today, but this project has been in the works for a couple of months now. So I don't wanna do anything, anything in haste that would damage the final product. That's kind of why I gave it its own shelf. And speaking of which, this 3D printed base kind of gave me the, the push I needed to rethink how I lay out my Lego room. I love now that I have shelves on the wall. I'm really happy that I have various levels of these big platforms I can put larger sets onto. I love watching this room grow and expand and, and morph 
and there are a couple more big projects in the works that'll really put this room over the top and I cannot wait for you guys to see them. But until then, as always, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.